Hey everyone, today's video is about when your stress day comforts you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's get going. You have always been driven. Fueled by a burning desire to excel in everything that you do. Makago, your partner, admires your tenacity, but worries about your tendency to overwork yourself. Despite his occasional scoldings, he continued to push your limits, driven by a relentless pursuit of perfection. It's a chilly evening in the autumn when Bakugo finds you holed up in your room, surrounded by textbooks and papers. The dim glow of your desk clamp casts long shadows across your face as you pour over your notes. Your bro is forward in concentration. Bakugo steps into the room, his presence filling the space with a comforting warmth. Hey, idiot. He says, his voice soft yet stern. You've been at it for hours. Take a break already. You glanced up, a tired smile playing at the corners of your lips. I just need to finish this chapter. You insist, your eyes returning to the pages before you. Bakugo sighs, crossing the room to stand behind you. His hand gently messaged your shoulders. Needing away, the tension that has settled there. You're gonna burn yourself out if you keep this up, he murmurs, his breath warm against your ear. You lean back into his touch, savoring the warmth of his embrace. I just, I wanna do my best. You whisper, your voice stained with exhaustion. Bakugo's grip tightens slightly, his concern palpable. You're already doing the best. Idiot, he says, his tone softening. But even the best need to rest sometimes. He let out a weary sigh, knowing that he's right. Whether it looked or not, you close your textbooks and push them aside, allowing yourself to lean back against Baku's chest. Together, you sit in comfortable silence, the only sound is the state of rhythm of your breathing. In Baku's arms, you feel safe, Protected from the key house of the world outside. As the minutes stick by, you feel the weight of the dread stresses begin to lift from your shoulders, replaced by a sense of peace and contentment. With Bakugo by your side, you know that no matter what challenges lie ahead, you'll face them together. Thanks, Katsuki. You murmur, your voice barely above a whisper. Bakugo's arms tighten around you, his embrace reassuring and unwavering. Any time, idiot. He replies, his voice filled with a warmth that melts away the last of your worries. In that moment, surrounded by the gentle glow of the lamplight, you realize that no matter how fierce the flames of your passion may burn, they are nothing compared to the fire that burns between you and Bakugo, a love that will endure for eternity. As the night wears on, Bakugo suggests a change of scenery, a brief respite from the confines of your room. With his hand in yours, you venture out into the crisp bathroom air. The cool breeze are a refreshing contrast to the warmth of your shared space. The streets are quiet, bathed in the soft glow of seat lights and the occasional flicker of passing cars. You walk hand in hand, your fingers intertwined. The connection between you was a source of strength and solace. Bakugo's voice breaks the silence. You know, you don't have to carry everything on your shoulders. He says, his tone gentle. You glance up at him, your eyes meeting his. Well, I just really want to make you proud. You admit. Bakugo's expression softens. His tongue tricks in small circles on the back of your hand. You already do, idiot. He says, his voice filled with sincerity. But you don't have to push yourself so hard. I love you just the way you are. His words wash over you like a soothing balm, easing the ache of self-doubt that lingers within. In Baku's presence, you feel seen, understood, cherished for who you are, flaws and all. With each step you take, the weight of your burdens glow lighter. The darkness that once threatened to consume you, slowly receding into the shadows. 
in Baku's arms, you find a sanctuary, a place where you can let down your guard and simply just be. As you reach the edge of the park, the sky above, painted in hues of deep purple and indigo, you come to a stop beneath the canopy of an ancient oak tree. Its branches reach out like a protective arms, sheltering you from the world outside. With a gentle tug, Baku draws you closer to him, his lips brushing against yours in a tender kiss. In that moment, time seems to stand still, the world around you fading into its significance. There is only the two of you, bound together by an unbreakable bond that was forged in the fires of fashion and love. As you melt into his embrace, you realize that no matter how daunting the challenges that lie ahead, as long as you have Bakugo by your side, you can weather any storm. Pour in each other's love, you have found home, a place where your love can burn brightly for all eternity. As the night deepens and the stars twinkle above, you and Bakugo linger beneath the oak tree, wrapped in each other's embrace. The world seems to fade away, leaving only the echo of love and devotion. With a soft smile, Baku brushes a stray strand of hair away from your face. He's such gentle, yet filled with unwavering affection. I promise, I'll always be here for you. He whispers, his voice a reassuring melody, in the stillness of the night. He then leans into his embrace, feeling the soft of his love enveloping you, like a blanket against the cold. And... Katsuki. I'll always be here for you too. You murmur. Your words of vow that was etched into the very depth of your soul. Together, you stand beneath the oak tree. Your hearts entwined. Your spirits intertwined. In that moment, you realize that no matter what challenges may come your way, as long as you have each other, you have everything that you'll ever need. With a sense of peace, settling over you like a gentle caress, he turned to Bakugo, your eyes light with the fire of determination and love. Hand in hand, he faced the future, ready to conquer whatever obstacles that may lie ahead, knowing that together, you are unstoppable. And as the night gives way to dawn, you and Bakugo walk hand in hand, your lovely beacon of light, in the world that was filled with darkness, guiding you towards the future that was filled with endless possibilities. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And goodbye.